Uh, I just wanted to see what you think about uh, the two Charlo brothers, the one, you know, Jamal just fought, got that decision over Montiel. And what do you think of Jamel going to be the first undisputed champion if he can win uh, July 17th? Oh, that's great. That's great. I like the Charlos. You know, I, I, I enjoy those guys. Those guys are great for the sport. Uh, I just love the nature, man. I love the nature. I like how they how they present themselves. They got a lot of dog in them, you know. Um, I uh, the Montiel fight was was a good fight. I, I thought it was a great fight. Montiel did very well, very well. Awkward. Uh, very awkward. Yeah, but sometimes awkward awkward is good. Sometimes awkward is good, as you can see. You know, it kind of throws you off when when you're not used to certain things coming coming from you know uh, the the as far as like the timing, like the jab is thrown weird different the right hands thrown weird at you know unexpected times you know when guys have really good off rhythm they fight off rhythm i would say it's really difficult to deal with any fighter you know when you don't see the conventional way of throwing something being thrown at you it's difficult so uh and that's why pacquiao has success a lot because a lot of stuff he does is unconventional but uh i'm glad that he went through that mm -hmm. it's only it's only good for him it's only right if you don't struggle if you don't go through some things bro you're not gonna build. You're not gonna get better. Right. In anything in life, you gotta go through some trials and tribulations. And I was telling my wife this. I was like, you know, our kids got it easy. I said we gotta start making them. We gotta start making them struggle a little bit. My kids got it easy, man. Everything handed to them. You know, I'm like, man. I said, but when we grew up, nothing was handed to us at all. We had to go out and get it, earn it. You know, and you know, not that my kids don't earn it. They earn it in other ways. But I'm just saying, it's just too easy for them. Too easy. So. If you don't struggle a little bit, how can you how can you look forward, man? How mm -hmm. can you get better? How can you improve? So I'm glad that he did. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, gonna come back, straighten himself out. Just like Shakur Stevenson. If you listen, just like you, Shakur. Got number love for you, brother. Number love for you, man. And I still think you're gonna be a top dog in, in pound for pound and still gonna be reigning at the top. There's no doubt in my mind, my man. You know what I mean? But I gotta I gotta say what needs to be said, not only for the fans at home, but also what I feel deep down inside because I know you're a better fighter than that. There's no doubt in my mind, dog. And if I gotta say say what I need to say to bring it out of you, then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say because I don't give a damn what anybody think of me. And you wanted, like Shaq says on Inside the NBA, you wanted the few with G16 certification. Certification. Yeah. yeah. I did it. Been there and done that. I'm letting you know. And I'm on the other side, so you getting free knowledge. I'm on the other side now. So we sit in meetings and we talk about y'all. We do. We talk about everybody in meetings. Brothers good, some is good, some is bad. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta understand that this is a business. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, man. This is a business. Entertainment, man. You know? And some fighters get it, some fighters don't. It's not about just winning. If you wanna make that big money, it's about how you win. Alright? And how you present yourself outside the ring, carry yourself inside the ring as well. So it's a it's a balance. It's a serious balance, man. And, and and a lot of young fighters need to understand that and learn that as soon as possible. All right, learn that as soon as possible and save your damn money. Save your money. I'm sick of all y'all walking around with all the damn chains and stuff. That don't make it mean. <laughs> that don't mean anything. I don't change. I don't got no chain on. I got a nice watch. I was grown. Grown man told me get a nice watch. It's all you need. I got one watch. Nice watch. That's all I need. I'm good. I don't need no chains. I don't need none of that stuff. I don't need no Bentley to make me feel some certain way. I don't need none of that stuff, man. I'm good. Because that right there don't make you, don't make you great. It makes you stupid because you're spending all your money on material things instead of buying assets, things that's going to make you money. Thank you, Tim. Thank no you, doubt. Brother. Great show tomorrow. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.